Hello and welcome YouTube users. In this tutorial, I'm going to proceed to demonstrate how to isolate one or a few birds into a single sound file so that you can upload this to your eBird log and submit that for approval or for diagnostics or just for your own log and also to share with other people who may look at your eBird list so they can hear the audio file that was recorded by Merlin but not the entire file just the birds you're trying to identify into a small segment of sound so currently I'm in my sound recordings so basically what you want to do is simply open the Merlin app and then you're going to go to your log of your recording so you click that menu bar and then you go to my sound recordings and I did quite a few yesterday so the one I'm looking for is going to be about 10 minutes long there is quite a few birds in this list right here let's see actually it was this one right here you can see I've done a variety of recordings so for May 12th yesterday I'm going to go ahead and click this list once I've clicked the list it shows all the birds that were recorded in this session. So the one I'm looking for is going to be the Wilson's Warbler. It would be nice to get the black-headed grosbeak in there as well. Let's go ahead and click on the Wilson's Warbler and then watch what happens up here. It'll take you exactly to the bookmark. So as you can see of the 9 minute and 48 second file the Wilson's Warbler was initially bookmarked at the nine second mark. So our, so our, uh, our goal here is to take this large audio file, which I'm going to show you how to upload to your Google Drive, then download and open up into a second application, which is called Audacity. So let's see how this works. Okay, so I've identified the Wilson's Warbler as the one I wanted to hear. I'd also like to hear the black-headed grosbeak, which I think is around the same time, if I remember correctly. So if I click that, yes, you can see both the Wilsons. I can go back. And it nicely makes all these bookmarks in Merlin, which is really helpful, and I'll show you why that's great in just a minute. So if I click the Wilsons, it was first recorded at 9 seconds. I'm going to rewind this back to 0. The same with the black-headed grosbeak both recorded at about the nine second mark. Okay, so now that I've demonstrated that, the very next step is to take this file, and it's going to be large. It's a WAV file format, which is far better than MP3, and ideal for creating and editing and maintaining audio file formats. So we're going to go ahead and click this button, and it's going to go ahead and allow me to upload it to my Google Drive. Let's do that. So I'm going to go ahead and click this, click Google Drive. Now if you have a Google Drive account you want to make sure you're logged in and note the name of the file, right? In this one it's 2023-512-0940. So that's the file and as I mentioned it's going to be a WAV file format. Ideally once this uploads I'm going to download it and then open it in Audacity. So let's go ahead and save this to the Google Drive. Okay, as you can see the file is being uploaded. I'm going to go check here in just a minute or two and I'll be right back. Okay, so in the second segment as I began to show just previously, your file will be uploaded to your My Drive Google account. And in my case, if you recall, the file was 2023-512-0940 and WAV file format, as mentioned. So we're going to go ahead now and download this file to my download folder and then open it up in a software program called Audacity. And I will demonstrate that in just a minute and where you can get that free application. There is no adware, no spyware. I've been using it oh, for probably over 10 years and it is simply one of the best free applications I've ever used. So in this instance we're going to right click and choose download. 
and your Google Drive account will scan the file for viruses, not that I'd expect there'd be any. And then, as I mentioned, it's a large file. And if you look up in the upper right-hand corner of the screen, it's downloaded the file. I'm not going to choose Open File because this will open the, uh, the application called Groove or Groove Music, whatever it's called by Windows. That's not my goal. As I mentioned, I want to open this up in Audacity. So I'm going to go to show this in my local folder on my local computer. And here's the file right here. You can see it's 101 megabyte. I'm going to go ahead and choose Open with Audacity. Okay, so there's the file. And if you look at the very end of the file, 9 minutes and 30 seconds is the last marker. If you recall, it was about 9 minutes 40. And it's 101 megabyte. This is one large file that certainly could not be emailed. Now in the... Um, earlier part of this tutorial we were looking for the Wilson's Warbler and the black-headed grosbeak that were at around the nine second mark so what I'm gonna go ahead is go ahead and do actually excuse me is drill into this a little bit further so I can see this more in individual seconds versus 30 second clumps so if you note I'm on the selection tool which is this letter I here I'm gonna choose the magnifying glass and I'm going to zoom in until I can see smaller increments in seconds. All right, so I've achieved my goal. You can see 34, 35, 36. So let's go back to the beginning of this file. And what you do is go to the bottom of the screen, hit the horizontal scroll bar, and go back to the beginning. So we're looking for about nine seconds. So here we are. I'm going to go ahead and hit the selection tool again. I don't need to magnify any further. And we're going to shoot for, oh, let's say 8 seconds to 11 seconds. Now let's listen to what Merlin recorded in its default audio mode. And you can tell there isn't much activity here, and that's because it's so faint it's barely audible. Let's play that back and see what we're listening to as it was recorded by Merlin. Can't really hear much except for what appears to be a frog in the background. All right, well, we're going to fix that. So again, all I did is take the selection tool. I'm on the eye. You can click anywhere in here and just drag to the right. I'm going to snag about three seconds. Now, how do we get this to sound louder? Well, that's pretty simple. I'm going to go ahead and choose Effect. And then I'm going to go ahead and choose Normalize. Now I think these are the best settings. I don't like it to be anywhere near 0 dB or higher. It will cause distortion, clipping, and all sorts of anomalies. So I usually bring it about 1 dB low or below 0. So I'm going to click OK. Now as you can see, the volume has increased. So we should have some far better activity and hopefully hear the two birds we're looking for, the Wilson's Warbler, and the black-headed grosbeak should be in this segment. So let's see what we have. I'm going to hit the play button up on top and let's demo. Oh, I clearly heard both. Uh, right around this part, you can hear the Wilson's Warbler with its high-pitched song. It escalates and then de-escalates and in the background was the black-headed grosbeak. Let's play it back one more time. So it sounds like the the, uh, the black-headed grosbeak started right about here, and this looks to be approximately where the Wilson's Warbler makes its entrance. As you can see, it's like a staircase, right? And that's the escalating song it made. Step one, step two, step three, and then it de-escalates. So it looks to me, or sounds to me, we've got both birds in this little segment. Okay, so now um, the fun begins. We're going to go ahead and take this part out. We don't need the rest of the file, right? We just want to isolate just those two birds. I'm going to then go Edit, Copy. I'm going to then go File, New. 
So basically I have a blank new file waiting for just that little three second segment. Very simply, I'm going to right click, whoops, there's no paste there. I'm going to go to edit and paste. And here's my three second segment. Let's play it back just to make sure. And there we have it. Now what we want to do is save this file to our local computer so we can upload it to our eBird list. Now you can do a little bit more cleanup by the way. If you've ever downloaded a segment and there's kind of a lot of noise in the background, I'm going to just illustrate something here. It may or may not work in this example, but it might. It's a bit noisy, I would say, from right around here to here. Almost useless sound in the background. So I'm going to try this. I'm going to go to Effect and then go Noise Reduction. I'm going to grab the profile of what I've just selected. So a profile means it's going to listen for background noise and then eventually we want to pull this out of this file. So I'm going to go get the profile from that small segment. Okay, that's done. I'm going to go ahead back into my three second segment. I'm going to go select all and that option is right here actually, select all. So I've selected the whole file. I'm going to go once again back to effect again and this time I'm going to choose noise reduction once again. We've already done this, so let's apply it and see if there's any improvement over the three second clip. Aha! You can see it did some isolation. It took out a lot of that noise, but I want to hear what this sounds like with that noise reduction. Let's see if it's any better. Sounds a heck of a lot better to me. Let's try that again. So you can hear the gross beak right about here, and then you can see the staircase on that escalating song by the Wilson's Warbler. I like it. I think I'm going to keep this. So let's go ahead and choose File. Now Export. We have to save this file, this three second file, as a WAV file. And again, don't choose MP3. eBird frowns on compression and these are compressed file formats where it's decreased sound quality. Choose Wave. Now with three seconds only the file should be very small. So let's go export. I'm going to go ahead and export the file into a folder on my computer that I've already created and I'm going to give this a new title. Blackheaded Grosbeak and Wilson's Warbler and I'm going to add in there with noise reduction. That's a lot of characters, but it should work with noise reduction. Your maximum, by the way, is 256 characters into a description, so I believe I'm well below that. So let's go ahead and save this. You can include some meta tags if you want, such as your name could go here since you know, you recorded it on your phone. You can put the bird name in here. I'm going to leave it blank. You can fill this out if you want to, but it's not necessary. And I'm going to click OK. All right, the last part of this tutorial uh, will be how to upload this to eBird. And uh, that should pretty much do it. So I'll be right back. OK, so I'm in my eBird account. And my goal right now is to upload the uh, audio track, the three second clip for the Wilson's Warbler. So you may already know this. Warblers are typically at the very bottom of the list. So as you can see, I've got a total of two heard yesterday and I put in some notes, but there's no audio file here. As you can see, I've attached other audio files for other birds and also images. So let's scroll back up to the top Go Manage Media. At this point, I'll be able to navigate to the Wilson's Warbler 3 second audio file and attach it to eBird. So here's the Wilson's Warbler. If you go to the right, click Add Media. And at this point, I'm going to go ahead and choose the one with the noise reduction. That was the best sounding 3 second clip. Click Open. And as you can see, eBird is now processing the audio file. 
Now with audio, just my experience is that eBird could take um, probably a couple of minutes, whereas images are fairly quick. So that's pretty much it for the tutorial today. From start to finish, you've now recorded with Merlin. You've uh, taken the audio track, uploaded it to your Google Drive account. You've downloaded it, edited the audio file, and processed just a small segment of sound that you wanted to hear on a specific bird or a bird or two, and then uploaded it to your eBird account. And that's all there really is. Well, I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. Thank you, and have a good day.